This is a typical night riding Willie. The date is May 9th, I believe. It's a Wednesday, about 7 p.m. My barrel horse is in the background because I was riding her, and um, you know, Willie's good with crowds. Other horses don't bother him. So if you're ever at a show and there are a bunch of other faster horses, he's fine with that. He won't act up or anything. We have some obstacles set up here because we had a 4-H meeting, but he's good with, you know, off legs and poles and everything. It's a pretty broke horse. So Melissa is riding him. Melissa is almost 14 years old. We've had Willie for a long time. We've owned him for probably eight years or so. No, four years, but we've leased him for eight years before that. So we've, we've known him for a long time. So to ride Willie, normally you don't have to use a whole lot of hand action. He, as you can see on this video, he uses a pretty loose rein and you can use your legs to um, basically control his speed and how um, he moves. As you can see, Melissa's going to do a, a roll up with her spurs right now. That's how you collect him um, and get him to round up when you're uh, walking, trotting, or loping. This is his western jog. Sometimes he needs a little reminder during practice so you can bump him up, sorry, you can bump him up a little bit, um, but mostly, especially during shows, you primarily use your feet. And this is just a tutorial video, so we haven't shined him up or anything. Um, he does look really pretty when he's all cleaned up. Melissa just cued him into a lope from a standstill. And, and to really sit his lope, he moves like a true Western Pleasure horse. And it's very um, round, and it can be hard to sit for some people, so you have to sit really deep. We always tell everybody to sit deep and then roll up with your spurs to get him to really round up and use himself. He really likes his job, he's good at it, and he likes moving for the Western Pleasure. That's what he was trained in to start with. Melissa, well, so let's show a round up of your spurs one more time. See how he kind of rolled up and rounded himself up? You can see his abs flexing right now. Mostly, can we try to um, show how he can go even a little bit slower? We haven't rode him a lot recently. Kind of just got him right out of the paddock and hopped on him because, you know, we were out of town this weekend and Melissa has been doing track. So, you know, he's still in good shape. He's not a high maintenance horse where you'll have to ride him and ride him um, in order for him to show well. That was a stop. Um, he spur stops which is something um, good Western Pleasure horses should know um, so you don't have to yank back on your reins because that looks bad for the judges. Melissa's is just rearranging her reins here, turning around go the other direction you know he's a pretty calm guy um, and that shows he knows he's doing his job so he likes to show off even more but at home sometimes he's not um, completely on his game because he knows he, he's not being judged right now you know he has a pretty nice relaxed walk he's a really comfortable horse to ride it's not scary at all we throw a lot of um, different people on him. We've put friends, family members who have never rode a horse on him. Last summer I was teaching a girl who was nine who had never rode horses. Oh geez. Yeah, my horses got loose. Okay. Um, I'm going to walk this way while Melissa is still trotting. 
Sorry if the camera is shaky. As said before, this is kind of a tutorial video. Um, it's not, uh, it's unedited. You know, this is just a rough idea of how it would be if you guys did come out and ride him. Um, oh, sorry, honey. Um, if um, you did come out and ride him, this is kind of how it would look. You know, it's not like we've been riding him all night and trying to get him all shined up for you. So this is just a typical day. And to back him up, it's really nice because you don't have, as you can see, Melissa still has very loose rein while she's backing him up. And she is digging her spurs into him to get him to back up. Um, which is really nice because some judges come um, right up to you and ask you to back up. And if you're yanking on their face to get them to back up, they're going to dock you a lot of points. But if you can just dig your spurs right in and he'll back right up, that will gain you uh, favor and it will help you place better in the show pen. Oh, sorry, my horse's butt is in the picture. That was a lope transition. Willie also, besides the pleasure, does showmanship, horsemanship. He does really nice patterns. We have some videos of those you can check out. Um, I think most of the patterns he's doing hunt seat, but, you know, basically, um, the hunt seat is just a faster, more extended version of the Western Pleasure and he moves well for both of those so especially if even if you don't do the showmanship or the hunt seat right now he can in the future which is a cool option because he's an all-around horse and this is him um, you know moving out pretty nice um, in a nice slope as you can see Melissa is sitting really deep that also helps her um, guide Willie into a better deeper hocked lope and she's using her spurs as you can see her hands not moving hardly at all which judges love because if you're yanking on their face oh Willie Willie just got a little bug on him as we said you know this is an unedited video and my horse's butt is in it sorry and Yep, so he does everything pretty nicely, as you can tell. He's not too hard to ride, um, especially if you have someone, um, like a trainer, who is guiding, guiding you on how to ride. Um, he moves and is trained like a true Western Pleasure horse. And, yeah, Melissa, would you like to um, add anything? I think he covered it pretty good. Okay, that's Willie, folks.